What's going on, guys? How y'all today? You know, I appreciate everybody from watching my videos, just been watching them, uh, and the subscribers I've been getting. If you hadn't subscribed, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way, when I put a new video on, you can see how, how much fun and unfun I'm having. Anyway, I guess y'all seen a few shorts I've done on my little Pelican Predator, what I've had the problems with the water leaking inside the hull. Well, I finally tracked it down to the live well hose. I, either it's broke or cracked or something so right now i'm in the process of trying to get to the hose but with the sealed body you have to cut holes in it which i don't like to do so let me spin it around and show you where i'm at so far so you'll know what's going on all right so this is inside the live well there's the hose and i guess the hose comes here and 90s off and goes back to the back so as you can see i've already put an access panel in this is a six and a quarter inch access panel which is this style right here that's what I'm using, if you can see it. So, but if you've never seen how thick a pelican predator is, the body, it's hopefully you can see that. Let me get it straight. There you go. All right. So what I'm doing, and I'll show you the inside. Open up this hatch right here. I don't care to cut hole. So uh, it comes with foam blocks. If you ever run, tried to run wires, you'll see now why you have a hard time running wires through the hole. It's all foam block. So I hope. You can see this. So that's, that's the line right there from the line. Hold on, that's going to be there. This line is leaking. I don't know if it's here, and you can't really get to it. There. You can't see that with the line. But I'm going to end up having to cut another access hole on the other end where I can take it loose. But that's where my water's been going. Right here on the side is my drain plug I put in. Hopefully you can see my finger sticking through there, maybe not. That's the drain plug I put in it to drain the hole. So I'm going to end up having to cut a access panel on this side right here. Try to part of the right here. Hopefully if I cut one right here, if they got a four inch, I can get one small enough and then I can get down there and get to that. I know I'll have to cut some foam blocks out. So, But she's coming around. I ended up power stopped it leaking i just plugged it here I come around and put a plug in here and that basically stopped the water from the but i like i want to use my live well when we go fishing so i got to get it fixed well i wasn't able to stop the live well leaking my predator 103 so i figured i'd show you i bought a bilge pump i'm trying to give you the best view i got but this is the bilge pump i'm going to try to mount into it so but if you've never seen, as you can see, I've already cut the hole out. I just hadn't pried it off. I tried to use a little die grinder there, but the hole was too rough. So this is what it looks like. And then I just used the nice pink blade to get it off. So this is what it looks like inside if you've never seen what one looks like inside. So we, there's your foam blocks if you've ever tried running wires. There's again the thickness of the hole. So the easiest thing I found to cut the foam out with is a serrated knife. And the only serrated knife I have is my wife's Pioneer Woman knives. <laughs> so guys, if you spent that money on that Pioneer and you don't think they're good for nothing, yeah, they are. They're good tools. Just don't let your wife catch you doing this. But they work excellent for cutting the foam. Told you them pioneer why nah it's good for something. You know. I knew it's gonna be good for something. Just didn't know what. I'm trying not I'm trying to be careful here because right there is my trolley pole motor mount and I don't want to cut through the wire to damage it. So I'm trying to be a little precarious here. Oh man, that's some, whatever they use is some sticky stuff, boy. Too bad it don't seal the leaks. 
Golly, that's sticky. What I'm trying to do is get to the back wall back here. I'm trying to clear a spot through here so I can get to the back wall. That seems like the bottom of it right there. Very messy. Had this shot back handy. You had to dig it all out. We're getting down to the nitty gritty now, boys. Oh, there we go. Broke that big old piece off. That made it nice. There we go. You can see they got it jammed full of foam. And then whatever they use to stick it. Some sticky stuff. I will give them that. It's some sticky stuff. Might have to cut that piece in half. It won't fit through the hole. It's a messy job. Somebody got to do it right. I don't need to take all the foam out. I just want to get it to the back wall. Awesome. And it's got a little plate, piece of wood in there, plastic, what I was hoping so I could put my, put my thing on. All right, so all this now has got to be cleaned out. And as you can see, get the big pieces out. There's water in the boat. And I'm gonna come clean all this up and then I'll come back to the video. Okay, we're back. I got all the popcorn stuff cleaned up. Y'all, hopefully you can see it, but this is inside the Pelican. See, I cleaned all of it out. That right there looks, I guess they call it Deleron plastic or something. And I'm guessing that's the little flat spot on the outside if you need to mount your GPS. And they got that, but they also have wood in the transom. Kind of wish they'd have used that in the transom instead of a piece of wood. But that right there is what I'm going to mount my bilge pump in. It's, it's perfect so I can mount it just like that right there and it'll be in the bottom well if it don't slide hopefully y'all can see that with my arms in the way but it'll go just like that so it'll pull the water out all right so now that I got that part I'll take that out now we got to check the hatch to see if it fits You'll notice I cleaned that little rough edge up a little bit. I didn't, I couldn't stand that, so I had to clean it. <clears throat> Good God. Well, I'm saying we're going to get the hatch open. Good God. <laughs> oh, there we go. All right. So, let's see. I like a tight fit, so. There we go. So that'll be what the opening looks like. And of course, we're using stainless steel screws. Don't forget your stainless steel screws. I'm not putting any sealing on it yet because I'll be taking it off a couple of times. Because I may use a different style hatch. I don't know. I, do. I want one with a bag in it so I can like store my phone and stuff when we're out fishing. But for the time being,
gonna go ahead and screw it down. I'm using a very using a 12 volt Dewalt to, to keep stripping that plastic to a minimum. But you still can with these Dewalts. They pretty daggum strong. Even the 12 volts. She's not looking bad, not looking bad. it up back here a little bit all right so let's try to cap so that's what it looks like installed not too bad not too bad at all say so myself all right so now we want to find a location for the bilge pump if I can put some light in there where we can see. Yeah, that'll work. I don't like that it's not going to sit flush in there because that back wall is tilted. some water in it I want it flat on the floor just like that so I'm gonna have to figure out some spacers I might have to put a spacer in there because I don't want it sitting like that all right let me see if I can figure out something to use for a spacer that the seat water won't hurt and I'll get back with you Since I'm lucky enough to have some starboard, I made, well, I had to use two pieces, got to cut it small, but it, it'll work in, in a pinch. So now, we're going to try to get this started, which is not going to be no fun, I can already tell you that, because I don't have a magnetic tip. First, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to pause this and go get some. Alright, no magnetic bit, nothing like a little electrical tape to get, get, get a screw started. So hopefully you can see what I'm doing. That's all I want to do is get it started. Guessing you need your screw gun, sweet love. <laughs> no. No. Why would I need my Pioneer Woman knife, my uh, pink box cutter? You asking for a lot. Or my own personal screw gun. Why would I need these things? <laughs> Honey, I don't know. You want to keep up with your stuff more. <laughs> I don't know why you would need them. I don't know why you would need them, honey. Because I went out to the shop and got my screw gun. Hers is smaller and fits in the hole. Mine's bigger. Here you go. You. Bring it back when you get done now. I need it. Well, yeah, I still need it, but you go ahead and do your thing. Huh? Alright, so that's screwed in there. 
So now we're gonna take this and slide up under there. And once we tighten it in, fellas, she will be pulled in. Hopefully she'll be pulled in. She should be pulled in flat. If she won't, I'll put one more in that bottom down there and she will be. All right, so back. All right, so basically with the adapter, sorry, I know this is upside down. There it is, mounted in there. And it's pretty solid, too. So, I got a solid place with my bills on the floor. Okay. Now we got to get the hole drilled for the bills. Inlet. All right, so now I want to put the drain where it comes out right here. But you got to remember, this nut has got to be able to go flat. So you want to make sure you get in the middle that you can. Up enough that you don't mess mess that up. And there you go, drilling another hole in a perfectly good boat. Hopefully, you can see what I'm doing. Hopefully, I got it angled right for y'all guys. If I don't, y'all can let me know. See, we're not even. We're that, we're the whole tip of that bit. We're not even through yet. Now this, see there? This is where I take extra precaution. See how it just run into that lip? See how I just run into the lip? Didn't go down far enough. Should have went down here. So that right there, that right there is what you call a mistake. So let's see how quick we can fix it. Still gotta go with what I got. Still gotta go with what I got, boys. But I just gotta get it where it'll fit. I don't advise y'all doing it like this. Put it way down below the water line. I can silicone it enough to seal it. I just gotta get a piece in there. Like I like it. Making an oblong hole? No, sir, I don't. As long as I don't make it bigger than, than the spout. Yeah. 
So, I guess y'all seen my mess a minute ago when I was trying to actually get the little piece in there. I had to end up using the plastic one because it was longer. And after fighting it, let it seal a cold in. You can see I've got the hose already on. And it does. It's got a little buckle right there. But ain't no way out of it. You know? So i got to screw this back down once I get that screwed down. And I got this. All this is mounted together. So I'm going to mount it there. Back over there. Once we get there, we're going to test it and see how she works. All right? Hold on. All right, so basically, there's my build set up in the Pelican 103. It's not as clean as I want it. It'll look all right once I get done. And there's where it, suck it sucks the water up, and there's where it takes it out. All right. I already tested it on the battery. I'm going to actually use a small auxiliary battery for it. That way I can have it on its own switch all the time, so I don't have to worry about it on the big battery charging it all the time. That's how I'm going to do it. I just got to figure out how I'm going to mount the battery. And I got a switch. I think I'm going to put the switch to it right here. So it's always right here so I can flip it on. Alright guys, so this is the finished process. There's the outlet. You see I got the bilge pump hidden. Here we go there. This is my switch. I did a little quick little install on the switch in the back. So I got a big main switch panel I put in. It's all full with all the other stuff I got. So I just wanted a quick, cheap switch. If this one goes out, I can get another one. It wasn't too quick. Easy to change. But that turned out real clean. And my battery, I'm going to put it on its own self-battery. So I was able ended up here. I'm gonna run it. Here's my main battery that runs my other stuff. You can see my that's my trolling motor upgraded fuse. And this battery right here is what I'm gonna run run it off of. I gotta finish wiring it in. Can run my wires through the thing and all that. This hooks up my switch panel and all that so it's ready to go. So I got everything where I can pull the battery out and take take both batteries out, out of the boat. So alright if you have any questions or anything how I done it be more than glad to answer talk to you and answer you so send me a message and remember subscribe so we can build the channel up thank you have a great day